Jesus. You scared me. Ain't too smart standing in the middle of the road at night. Just made roadkill out of you. I'm sorry. You having car problems? Yeah, it just died. Hey, when that happens. Do you think you can look at it? Could. To be honest, I don't know jack shit about them sort of things. Where are you headed? Oh, I was going to a party in LaSalle. LaSalle? It's a, kind of a far place to go to party. Yeah, it's a once a year thing. Well, I'm heading to Norwood. LaSalle's on the way. Probably drop you off at the LaSalle Interchange. Maybe your friends can pick you up there. Oh, that would be great. You know how to get into one of these big boys? Yeah, I think I can manage. Let me go grab my bag first. Do you mind if I change real quick before I go? I gotta get out of this wet dress. Not a problem. Knock yourself out. Do you mind? No, not at all. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. party are you going to? Oh, it's a friend's birthday party. She's turning 30 <laughs> and she thinks her life is ending. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so stupid, huh? <laughs> you meeting a fella there? I'm sorry? A fella. A suitor. A beau. A bag of sweaty beans. You know, a boyfriend. Oh, no. I don't have a boyfriend. What? Pretty little thing like you? My life's hectic enough as it is right now. I don't need to confuse things by throwing someone else in the mix. How about you? Is there a Mrs. truck driver? Yep. For almost 10 years now. Best thing that ever happened to me. That's nice. Any kids? Yep, two. A boy. And a girl. Mm, that's really sweet. Well, I'm sure glad I'm not in the dating pool anymore. Things got crazy over the years. Crazy? Yep. I've heard a few twisted stories that would make your skin crawl. Like what? I can't tell you. It's too messed up. Oh, come on. It'll pass the time. Besides, I can't. 
Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. This happened in my neck of the woods. So I know it's true. Nine o'clock. Sounds great. Chill, hi. Did you find the place okay? Yeah, I, I did, thank you. Your directions were great. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go inside, shall we? You're very welcome. May I start us off with some drinks? Sure, that would be great. How about a glass of wine? I was able to get my hands on a bottle of 89 Castle Sour Pinot Noir. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious. I assure you it's delicious. I'll be right back with that. I've always loved red wine, especially with the good steak. I have to agree with you. I'm a fan of red wine. Oh, you've gone and spoiled a nice surprise. So now that I know, why don't you tell me exactly what we're having for dinner? <laughs> well, Following a spectacular garden salad, we'll be delighted by baked steak with mustard sauce and bacon wrapped asparagus. Sounds delicious. Okay. What do you do, Edward? You mean for work? Yeah. What do you do for a living? I, I don't know. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I just I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No. No, it's all right. You just come out guard a little bit. And I'm a bit embarrassed as what I do isn't quite as exciting as yours. So, what about hobbies? What do you do for fun? To blow off steam. What makes you tick? How are you different from all the other men? What makes you stand out? Oh. Excuse me. We must check on dinner. Would you care for more wine? Sure. That would be great.
everything's fine. I just dropped a utensil is all. See? Everything is fine. How's the street coming? Ooh. I don't know where my head's at tonight. I'll be right back. It's a dinner day. We're always dinner day. Dinner day. A slice of you. One of us. Oh, my God. You that it wasn't a very pretty story. No way that actually happened. Sure. As 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 well, did they catch him? Nah. As far as I know, they never even got close. <sighs> you hungry? There's some fat bills up in the netting. Honestly, after hearing that story. I don't think I could ever eat again. Suit yourself. I think I'd like one though. You wanna grab me one? Thank you. Oh, yeah? Body like yours. Bet you're a vegan or something. No, not really. I'm just not hungry. truck? Seems like my whole life. Practically squirted out of my old man's meat with a steering wheel in my hands. Couldn't think of any other way of life. Have uh, you always worked for the same company? Nope. I worked for a bunch. I even worked for a circus for a while. Don't you ever get lonely on the road? Of course I do. There's always plenty of people to meet. I have a confession to make. Oh yeah? What's that? You ain't the first girl I've picked up on the side of the road. There's ladies hitching all over the country. <laughs> There's lot lizards at every stop. Lot lizards? Yeah. Truck stop hookers. I see, and uh, 
you pick them up? Flat lizards? <laughs> no. I'm a happily married man. Besides, it ain't safe picking them up. Yeah. You never know what kind of diseases you might get. Diseases? <laughs> what? Nah, it's even more than that. I have a story about lot lizards that'll make you understand. It'll disturb you. I can handle anything. My cock does all my thinking for me. I don't have to worry. I don't watch as me. And my cock suggested that I call you. So no trouble would be for you. And I might have a chance to swing out. Yeah, I just got to the place. I just pulled in. Oh, that's cool, man. That's a great place to get some action, I've heard. Just buy the girls a few drinks and, uh, they're willing to do anything. Yeah, you know, when, uh, when they get a load of this body, they're gonna be the ones buying me the drinks. <laughs> Cocky bastard for a midget. <laughs> Uh, not cocky, just realistic. Uh, I'm sure they're used to seeing all these fat f walk in from around. Daddy <laughs> needs a spanky. It's a, it really sounds like you got your hands full. Alright, man, give them hell with your two inches. You better believe I'm gonna give them a lot more than hell. Adios. What can I get you, man? Uh, how about a beer draft? Uh, sure, why the fuck not? You know, um, this place always is hopping. What do you mean? Well, another trucker told me about this place and he said this was probably the place to come and do some party and get some hot chicks. I mean, I took a 45 minute detour out of my way and uh, I'm looking around here. This is pretty regular. Really? Look at No. Well, hopefully you understand my situation. I mean, I've been on the road for 18 goddamn hours, and I was hoping I could come down here and get laid tonight. Sure, why not? I need to go drain the anaconda anyway. Save my prime spot in front of your hot car, right?
figures. Hey, bartender, come here for a second. What? Where's the girl sitting? Three minutes ago, before I was in the bathroom. Yeah, she left. You know, what's the saying? Um, she wasn't much of a looker, but the more beer, the cuter they get. And I figure maybe five, six more beers, I could have probably tagged that. What? What the f That's my sister. <laughs> oh, sh That's about my luck tonight. Whoa! Oh, my God. Buy us a drink, sweet talk us a little, and we can help you a little bit. No, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah. Something like that. Or at least you're honest. Oh, what's your name? Dick. Most people call me Big Dick. And, uh, is that also true? Well, yes, ma'am. Bigger than a kielbasa? I bet. Tastes better too. So, ladies, what about those drinks? Let's forget the drink. Go upstairs and uh, party. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? You two aren't a couple of lot lizards, are you? Yeah. Lot lizards. You know, truck stop hookers. Yeah, I see them all over the country. Never quite as attractive as the two of you, but... What makes you think that we're hookers? Well, let's face it. I know I'm a good-looking guy. I, I work out. Uh, got a great body. I can walk in any bar and get the pick of any bra, uh, any lady that I want. So to have two hot women throw it out there just like the two of you are? Something just ain't right. We're not hookers. Not at all. We've just been traveling all day, and truth be told, we like to <laughs> Really? this story was disturbing. So far, it sounds like every typical male's fantasy. Hold on. Just getting there. Hand me another one of them fat pills and I'll finish the story. Oh, 
Oh, damn, that's good. Well, where was I? Getting beyond the male fantasy part. Oh, yeah. The rest you may have heard about. It was all in the news back when it happened. The video was leaked to the net and got thousands and thousands of hits. Like I said before, there's lots of weirdos out there. Holy sh! They killed him? You never heard of snuff films? Well, yeah, but I didn't think they were real. Like, people really did that? Sweetheart? People do all sorts of <laughs> Some stories about lot lizards ain't new. Driver's been warned about them since Abraham Lincoln invented the 69 position. The poor guy. He just wanted to get laid. Ha! Amen! Gotta wet the old dipstick every now and again. That's what keeps us sane. Jesus. You okay, honey? Yeah, I just have to pee really bad. I've been waiting for a truck stop or something. Well, there's none between here and where we're going. <sighs> I can just pull over and let you go in the woods. Oh, could you? Why not? You gotta go. You gotta go. Ten four, good buddy. I'm about uh, thirty minutes out. The lady's back now, and I don't want to be rude. I'll be in touch later. Over and out. Everything come out okay? Yep, no problem. Except for the dead animal. Dead animal? dead. It's not gonna hurt you. I know it's dead. It's just gross. I see that shit all the time. Roadkill litters the highway. You should see what they look like when they've been hit by a big rig. It's like they completely explode. Parts are scattered everywhere. Oh, that's sick. I don't think I could handle that. Nothing you can do about it. Dumb fucks run right out in front of you. It's their fault for not being smarter. It's almost like they're asking to be killed. I've seen a chupacabra before. What's a chupacabra? A goat sucker? Mexican vampire? It's a rarely seen creature that drinks the blood of livestock. Ugly little bugger. I've never heard of that. No, I don't doubt that. Supposedly they're mythical and aren't real, but I saw one once. Ran it right down. Nothing left of it or I would have been able to sell it for quite a bit of money. And I bet you have a story for that one too. Well, as a matter of fact, I do. It's uh, even more than the other stories I told though. I'm not sure you could handle it. You'd be surprised what I can handle. All right, here goes. This happened in Missouri. Can I have one of those? That girl you know better than that. Ray would tan your hat if he caught you smoking. You can't mind for letting you have one. Oh, come on, he doesn't have to know. Oh, he'll know. You know how he is. You'll find out. You know he will. I don't see what the big deal is anyway. It's not like I'm a kid. Yeah, I know, but you are his kid sister. And that's what older brothers do. They look out for you. He doesn't want to make the same mistakes with you that he thinks he made with me. Well, did you run off at that circus clown? I'm sorry that had to happen to you. Yeah, it sucks. I had a lot of fun for a while. 
It was okay though. I was missing you guys. Something terrible. Oh, that's so sweet. We missed you too. We'll always be a good family stay together. seen your brother Mongo? Goddamn fool. I told him to clean out that shack this morning. The thing is still a pigsty. I guess I'm gonna have to give him another whooping. You take it easy on him. You know he's not right in the head. I don't give a diddly if he's right in the head or not. If you don't clean out that shack, I'm gonna have to smack him right in the head. Well, I haven't seen him since this morning. He's all excited about that thing he found. What thing he found? For the love of butt and f is that an egg? It sure looks like one. Biggest damn egg I ever saw. Yep. God damn. Mongo found that? Yep. Up in the field he did. Jesus. Well, it's gonna make one hell of a scramble. Don't you dare touch Mongo's egg. He was so excited about it. Touch it? I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat the whole thing if I want to. You tend to mind me when I tell him to do something. Oh, lady, we have a visitor. Bobby, you take care of him. I think I want to have a little word with your sister. Come on, Dolly, right? Who needs that? Hey, honey. You looking for a good time? Oh, I've been saving up for this all week. Say, wh where'd that other girl go? Oh, don't you worry about her, sugar. I got everything you need right here. Is that right? Well, I'm fixing to get it then. That's what I like to hear. Come with me. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna have a word with you. Now listen, ever since your sister Bobby ran away with that damn circus clown, things have been kind of tight around here financially. Now that she's back, I'm hoping that's gonna change. She always brought in a lot of repeat customers for us in the past, and you know that's our livelihood. Sure, we'll always have this random person find out about this here place, and we like their money. But the key to our prosperity, and for us living so well, is the people that keep coming back week after week. I know the business. I understand how it works. I wasn't born yesterday. Well, then why don't you get so many repeaters? I don't know. I try my best. Well, something ain't right, though. You're a damn fine-looking woman. Fellas should be lining up for you. They do line up for me. They did? And that's when you were the only one here. I mean, we've lost a lot of repeaters. Now, Bobby, she can have them fellas eating out of the palm of her hand. Well, damn woman, I didn't pay good money just to stand here and wait. You haven't paid anything yet. Well, I told you I got it. You gotta pay before you play. There's only seven dollars here. Yep. Look, that is not what we agreed upon. I told you how much it would be. So, so damn it. That's more like it. When I say eight dollars, I mean eight dollars. I won't be taken advantage of. You felt that one, huh? <laughs> don't worry though. If you're good and you don't sass me none, next time I'll grease it up first. You know, Dolly Ray, your holes are just fine. There's no problem there. 
girl, your problem is in your head. You see? What? Hey! What? Hey! The grotesque and terrible birth to a monstrous creature sworn to kill and torture and destroy. No, no. Now see, you had me believing up until that story. It's just not possible. Besides, what's a Mexican vampire doing in Missouri? Do you labor? <laughs> nope. Sorry. You stretch yourself too thin with that one. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Wasn't all fake. But one last story then. As much as I'd love to hear it, we're pulling up to LaSalle, and this is what we'll part ways. I really appreciate the ride. Come on, honey. One last story. That was my exit. You got time for one more story then, huh? This one's a good one. A real killer. I guarantee you it's real. It's about a serial killing truck driver. Everybody's got to relieve a little stress now and again. Don't you agree? when you'd wake up. How's the head feel? You slice your tits off for this. I know you want to. I could see it in your eyes every time you looked at me. Except, you really weren't looking. It was more like eye raping. You wait and see. Oh, it's now. What happened to sweetheart? You. You be nice. Got it? Yeah, yeah okay. Good. <sighs> I was a good girl scout. While the other girls were focused on selling cookies, I studied up on survival and hunting. <laughs> What's so funny? You? Here you thought you were picking up an innocent girl. Easy pickings, an easy hunt. Turns out, you were the one being hunted. <laughs> you fell right into the trap. It was easy. You won't be laughing long. What did I say about being nice? I'll let that one slide since uh, 
It wasn't nice of me to insult you. You can't help that you're a stupid man. You're crazy. Me? What about you? How many girls have you killed? Lots. And one more after tonight. You really think that, don't you? I know it. Uh, I have a secret. Oh yeah? What's that, sweetheart? My friend is here. It's about time you got here, man. I can't believe I let this blame me like she did. Knock her ass out, but don't kill her. I want her alive when I feed her to you. Surprised. <laughs> you didn't think I could do this alone, did you? Come on out, baby. What did I ever do to you? It's not what you did to us. It's what you did to our friend. I'm sorry for whatever I did. I'm sure you are. I mean, I'm sure you were just clowning around. Is that what this is about? That clown Don't you talk about her like that. I barely knew her. her. A few times is all. I didn't kill her. My buddy did. Yeah, but you hooked her up with him. She was a good girl. She wanted a normal life. Ever since the hoopla over that video hit, she took the opportunity to better herself. With our time off. Sad to see her go, but uh, Debbie here took her place. She's been a great company ever since. And I love her. I love you too, babe. But I still love Ash. Video. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're that in that snuff film. <laughs> I jerked off to that thing till my dick bled. You never recognize Ashton from the video? If Ashton's the other girl, no. How is that even possible? I never saw her on a makeup. Every time we we kept our costumes on. It's our thing. She started to get a little serious and I pawned her off on my buddy. I told you I didn't do anything to her, my buddy did. I mean, don't get me wrong, I hate some of her. It's just the taste, really. <laughs> <coughs> the wrong girls. <laughs> Took us a few years to track you boys down. Sticking that pig over there gave me great joy. As for you, I'll let Debbie take care of you. Danger, danger, low. No.